Hey there, River Rider fans. Spencer Chiak here. I'm joined now with catcher Knox Preston. Coming back to the pregame show. Knox, thank you once again for taking the time. Thanks for having me. You know, last night, a thrilling win. Getting to watch it from the dugout, what was it like in the bottom of the ninth against the Burlington Sock Puppets? It's always fun. Walk-offs are cool, but just the energy we had towards the end, knowing that we weren't down too far and that we definitely could come back. It's something that we've been doing all summer, and especially after we heard that take me out to the ball game, we knew that we had a win coming in. Now, securing second place on their own, Bristol losing last night, staying four and a half back, big playoff push here. The Pulaski River Turtles coming in. What do you guys need to do against them to keep yourselves in the hunt here going into Bristol and Greenville this upcoming week? Focus on our game, control what we can control, and good things have been happening when we do that. And they're just another team, and it's pretty much just all we have to do. All right, Knox. Now, you've been here since day one. You talked about a lot of heart this team's had. What have you seen from the beginning to now, maybe, of the River Riders' evolution? All the new guys coming in, everybody's welcoming them, open arms, and just adding new additions to our team. And I think that's been kind of the story of our team for the whole year, is new guys keep coming in, and everybody keeps welcoming them. And we're just having a lot of fun and molding really well. Now, with just 13 games left this season, what do you want to do in these last 13 for you to look back on the River Riders as a positive experience? Continue this playoff push, get as many wins here at home as possible, and just keep having a lot of fun. Now, you on the baseball field, but also off are a barstool athlete. This being the first season, college athletes can go out with their, with their nil rights. What has that been like for you? It's wild, something that we heard about for a long time. Really didn't think that it was going to happen. Um, pretty cool experience so far. Still testing the waters and finding everything out, but it's been good so far. Is there a favorite Barstool podcast you'd recommend to the fans? Favorite podcast for me, which, pretty, I mean, it's just anything that Portnoy's on. I love listening to him talk. I think he's hilarious. But anything that Dave features on, I would probably say it's, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> How long have you been keeping up with Barstool? When were you first introduced to it? Uh, I was first, I first found out about Barstool when uh, he was, when Dave Portnoy was making videos and stuff while he was at the Super Bowl uh, with a Tom Brady jersey on. Yeah, that's when I first, uh, First found out about Barstool, I think it was a few years ago. But ever since then, just been keeping up with his antics, and I think it's been pretty fun. Now, throughout your time here in Elizabethton, has there been a favorite place to go out and hang out or perhaps eat? Is there anything about Elizabethton or JC where you guys are staying at that really stands out to you? Um, I think it's called Southern Comfort or Southern Craft. It's a barbecue place in Johnson City. It's probably my favorite place that we've been to so far. It's pretty solid. How does it stack up to the barbecue in Nashville? We're not too far from home, so it, it competes, but I'll still take Nashville. Growing up there, outside of baseball, what was your favorite thing to do living in Nashville? Taking advantage of the nature we have around us, being outside, hanging out with the kids around us, and that was huge. But ironically, probably best, my favorite thing to do growing up was playing hockey. Hockey, really? What position were you playing on the ice? I was a center and right wing. Is there a favorite hockey game growing up that you always look back on and think about when the hockey season's going on? I just more think about miss playing and how how much of a part of my childhood it was and get get a little PTSD whenever we go to Predators games. Hockey, baseball, is there any other sports you've played growing up? Any, any sport you could think of, a lot of kids in my neighborhood, we played anything we could get our hands on. Just if it had a ball, we probably played it. Is there a favorite hockey player growing up that was really an inspiration for you? Really like Kimo Timonen. Uh, I had the privilege of playing with his son when I was little, when he played for the Predators. Um, it was cool getting to see him on and off the ice, and that was pretty sweet. What's one thing about hockey that translate into baseball that you still use today? Conditioning your legs. Uh, 
that's been a huge thing for me as a catcher. Um, there's nothing like a like the conditioning for hockey that your legs take, and I think it's really helped me from a catching standpoint. All right, Knox, final question to get you out of here. Is there a specific hockey game growing up that you remember that, that either major day or broke your heart? I think it was whenever the Preds had the Stanley Cup going on, whole city of Nashville was shut down. I think it was game six. That one, that one breaks my heart a little bit. Thinking about it, just wishing the Predators could have gotten the cup, but we're coming soon. All right, Knox, thank you so much for the time. Thanks, Vince. River Rider fans, we'll be right back after this.